All right, just a quick note about the COVID-19 situation and some tips to deal with this. So I've talked with quite a few clients um, online uh, through video conferencing as well as the phone at this point. And I would say the number one problems that I see with people is, well, of course, the anxiety. Who isn't anxious? I'm anxious too. That makes complete sense, right? So what I would say is um, be very careful of how much social media you consume. I know everybody's online. I know that everybody uses social media, but there's plenty of information out there that is not so accurate. And then uh, there's plenty of accurate information, but when you expose yourself to that time and time again for hours throughout the day, it just increases the anxiety, um, as well as the old fashioned 24 hour news on TV. So don't watch the news nonstop. So I think that's something that uh, I would urge people to put themselves on a news and social media diet. I'm not against it. We just, we do need to know what's going on, but uh, hours and hours of that is not going to be helpful. So remember that anxiety is contagious. So I have put myself on a strict diet of that. I'm, I'm kind of like a morning, noon, and night. Uh, take a look at a couple news websites and uh, watch the local news, that kind of thing. So that would be much of what I see that is driving things. Um, I'm urging my clients to think about uh, those who remember 9-11 and how tough that was and how we got through it, as well as um, the financial crisis of 2008, 2009, and that was really bad and we got through it. And I recognize that this is different, but those are a couple of uh, really tough parts that many of us remember. And... Um, you know, it, it might be helpful if you if you don't really know a whole lot about 9-11, just uh, watch a documentary about it and look at how bad it was and then how we recovered. So I think that's something that would be very helpful. And uh, just focus on the positives, focus on getting through this and keep talking with uh, your friends and your family while you maintain that social distance and uh, plenty of video conferencing, plenty of phone calls. And don't rely only on text messaging. So that's something that I have preached to people forever, especially if they're in long distance, uh, long distance relationships. So that really hurts communication. So as much if you can't do face to face with your appropriate social distancing, as much video conferencing and old fashioned phone calls as possible. I think that's something that would help. So we're all going to get through this. We need to give it time and continue to have good health practices, and we'll get through it. All right, thank you.